All right, good Sunday morning here on Cold Reality Radio. I am your host, Shaliak. I will be the host for the next two hours. And uh, it is Sunday, January 27th. We're almost a month into the year. And, of course, it is the regular starting time on the starting line, 11 a.m. Uh, Kurt uh, Williams, Room 101, you just got done listening to that. And now you are in line for the next program, which, as I said, is Cold Reality Radio, Cold Reality News and Report, you know. Um, you know, there's a lot of good programming on this network. There's people that go through things with a fine-tooth comb, um, such as Doug Owen, um, Blacklisted Radio. Um, he's been doing this for quite some time, so he is... Uh, He's very good at what he does, and uh, I am not quite there, but I have uh, concerns about the world, and um, I'm going to uh, bring them to the forefront as best as I can. If I make mistakes, I will try to rectify those mistakes, but I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of bad things going on. And I think uh, I don't have to tell the regular listeners uh, out there uh, that that's happening because they know. They have different levels of understanding about the direction that, um, that the world is going in as far as um, continual war and um, just... Uh, you know, machine gun fire and Black Hawk helicopters invade Miami skyline, but it's only a drill. You know, pay to sin, Obamacare to hit smokers with huge penalties. So quit smoking or pay more. Okay, I don't. I'm not a smoker. I don't agree with smoking. Um, it is basically out there for you to uh, get addicted to these products. Of course, the programming and the commercials from years ago, the propaganda, how cool it was. You've made it, baby. Now it's time for this particular cigarette or that one to make you look cool, you know. And um, the toxins in there are responsible for uh, a lot of disease. Of course, when the body gets into the... Uh, the disease zone when it doesn't have what it needs and then it eventually gets into an acidic state and then the immune system starts to break down and then all kinds of havoc uh, ensues in the body. And, um, of course, you don't get told any of this by your AMA-trained physician because he is a victim of this system as we are, and he is going to bring you in, and they have a flow chart, and it says, oh, so-and-so, what, you got high blood pressure, you're overweight, up oh, first, lose some weight, fat, fatty, and then, you know, then the drugs come in, oh, high blood pressure, well, we're going to give you this pill, and you got this over here, so we're going to give you this pill, and this pill, and this pill, and this pill. Never, let's get to the root of the problem, which not isn't always being overweight that's a misnomer it's not always about being overweight there's a lot of healthy heavy people out there if they're eating the right foods if they're eating the right things and eventually if you're eating and getting the right nutrition then uh, you will lose the weight there you go with some payday Monsanto on the bumper out be back in three minutes with more Cold Reality Radio Oracle Broadcasting. Oracle. Later, you got yours and I got mine. Me on your phone. There you all know. There you
Good morning once again. Cold Reality Radio here on the Oracle Broadcasting Network. I'd like to say hello to everyone in the chat room. Goes to Jimmy, Lady, Pip, Lady Pitbull, um, Country Boy is seeing. Okay, yeah, I made a comment about tobacco. Now, tobacco in and of itself can probably have some benefits, okay? But um, when the corporations uh, get done with it, there's so many toxins in there that um, I'm surprised people aren't just dropping like flies on maybe on some level that they are. So on some level they are, but uh, uh, so many toxins in there. Um, I can't even begin to, uh, you know, tell you what they are, but they're in there. Just five? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so I'll give you an example. Someone I know is getting tobacco, d- directly uh, getting tobacco, in a way. And it's supposed to be something that is not as toxic as what you're getting from the what you're getting from the uh, Wawa or the 7-Eleven or wherever you buy your um, wherever you buy your cigarettes, and um, so I've been going to uh, a chiropractor for for some time, and also um, he's not only a chiropractor but he's also a kinesiologist, which means he is aware of energy, um, the energy that the body throws off, and he can do muscle testing. I can. Hand, I can put something in my hand, in my left hand, that is not good for me, that is not good for me to consume, smoke, um, drink. And if it is not good for me, he, I can stick my, my right arm out at a 90-degree angle from my body, and he, can push, he will push my arm down, and I cannot stop him. When I don't have anything in my when I don't have anything in my hand, he will press down, and it's not like he's like forcing it down like arm wrestling. He's pushing my arm down with just a little bit of pressure, and once he realizes that I can't, you know, once the muscles just can't do what they do to stop, like two pounds of pressure going down, two pounds of pressure going up, the arm goes down, and that means that it's affecting you in a bad way. It's affecting you in a bad way. And now, okay, so I want to say that uh, I held these new cigarettes that I got, just two or three of them, in a little container. And I just wanted to find out, you know, what the test would be. They're not, I, I don't think they're Philip Morris now. And so, right away, the arm goes down. There's something in there. It's not good. And I don't think it's the tobacco. Okay, I'm going to try to get some kind of organic tobacco to see and test that uh, to see if um, that is going to happen again or if the organic tobacco um, enables me to keep my arm up. So more to report on that. I'm also going to be having back on uh, for the third time and, of course, many, many more times uh, Jordan DeYoung. And uh, Jimmy Holman, who messaged me this morning. Um, and uh, we're going to be talking about energy medicine. We're going to be talking about, uh, um, you know, killing MRSA, the uh, so-called uh, uh, staph bacteria uh, that uh, people are getting in the hospitals. Because it was somewhat confirmed through conversation that I believe that they are not the the hospitals are not sterile environments. I think they are sterile up to a certain point, but when the equipment that is used in the operation gets shipped in with the scalpels and the this and the that that get used in these operations, you're going to get it, especially when the body gets cut open. A lot of people think that when the body gets cut open and when there was a, when there's a operation of any kind that the body is uh, subject to a lot. I'll give you an example. Um, old uh, old fellow around 79, uh, a father of a friend of mine, 
um, falls and breaks the femur above his knee, above his uh, surgically repl- replaced knee. He goes in, he gets that taken care of. They put him on blood thinners. Now, I've been told in the past that blood thinners are nothing but like some form of rat poison. Okay, um, that can be, uh, right, a friend of uh, someone has mercy in both lungs, a woman uh, that worked for the company that I work for, a, a, a wife of an agent, uh, went in, had a child, and and shortly thereafter, I think that the child is okay, but the woman died of a massive lung infection uh, from, I believe it was MRSA. So the 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 older gentleman uh, goes in, he gets the uh, gets the uh, femur taken care of, and then he goes on blood thinners, and then um, his what they don't know at the time, but he has ulcers, and the ulcers start to bleed in his stomach. He can't uh, understand where the blood's coming from. So this guy went through absolute hell because they're not using something natural to thin the blood out. They're using something very, very dangerous. And, you know, I'm not a doctor. And if I was, I wouldn't be one of these people that are out here. Um, I would uh, not be using uh, any of these uh, blood thinners. There would be things that could be taken, natural things that can be taken to combat this. To get rid of the need for the blood thinners. And of course, uh, because there's always a, a chance and a risk of blood clots um, that a lot of people have been getting, um, two women that I've heard about just recently through people that I know, uh, blood clots. Uh, a friend of mine uh, got a blood clot from taking hormone replacement therapy for a long period of time. For a number of years, maybe two, three, four years. It was superficial. It wasn't a deep vein thrombosis. They call a DVT, which can break off, uh, go into your lungs, and cause a pulmonary embolism, or uh, that would go into your brain and cause a stroke. Not a fun time. But as I said in in uh, past. Uh, in past uh, broadcast, that um, this is a uh, this is an all-out attack on on people that we actually think. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, there you go. We got some things here. Uh, Jordan is uh, chiming in already with some information, some great information. Uh, Lumbrokinase is a natural blood thinner, the best uh, that he is aware of. But there's a lot of them in fish oil. Um, as well. Fish oil is one of them. And I've, uh, 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 Cole Reality Radio caught up on me, CN3. Welcome back, Cole Reality Radio, um, here on uh, Sunday morning, January 27th. Uh, as I said, my, uh, after this, uh, this segment, I'm going to bring on, uh, uh, Jordan and Jimmy, and we're going to talk more about what uh, we're going to add to what we spoke about in the past and maybe go over some information just to, to introduce people to energy medicine to get uh, to get them, uh, you know, just kind of like a little uh, brief uh, back to basics thing. Um, OK. Uh, and of course, uh, thanks to Jimmy as well. Um, uh, he uh, when I was talking about uh, uh, rat poison, strychnine works by thinning the blood. So much of the rats bleed to death internally. Okay, so strychnine to thin your blood. You wouldn't need it, would you? I certainly hope not. <laughs> and, of course, uh, uh, Jordan also said that uh, that uh, lumbrokinase, um, I believe that was what it was, was, uh, and, of course, fish oil. Um, speaking with uh, Dr. Glidden, uh, naturopath a uh, number of months ago, possibly over the summer. Wow, it was quite a while ago. Uh, he mentioned that, yep, yeah, strychnine was used for uh, the uh, thinning of the blood and that strokes and uh, uh, circulatory uh, issues like that, I mean, which is a huge circulatory issue, I mean, stroke, you don't want one of those. 
um, is uh, and can be prevented by just taking fish oil, finding a good fish oil. Now, giving an example, it's going to tie into the um, um, conversation or the the area that uh, uh, that uh, Jimmy and uh, Jordan are, and I are going to be speaking about. Um, I went to a health food store and I picked up a basic fish oil from them. And um, so I'm taking it and I've been taking it for a, a little while. And I even um, kind of uh, introduced it to a friend of mine who, in fact, had a stroke. And it wasn't a big stroke, but it was one of those uh, uh, little pieces got stuck in the um, superficial uh, arteries closer to the skull. And um, and what happened was uh, he experienced uh, something that kind of wrecked him for a little while. But he's back, and but yet he's on these drugs. He's on all, he's on the purple pill. He's on this and that. When bottom line is, it's probably the uh, gluten and things like that. Just don't agree with him, and then he could heal. He had what is called his Barrett's esophagus, which is a what the medical system says is the prelude to. Um, um, the prelude to esophageal cancer. My father pretty much died from esophageal cancer, and I never heard him complain of um, heartburn in his in all his days. And he lived till be to be eighty four. Okay, so um, it is in fact H. pylori. And back to the guy who broke his femur. Uh, the reason why his uh, his ulcers are in there and they're bleeding is because he's got H. pylori bacteria in his digestive tract. Now, one time, the medical institutions believed that no bacteria could live in the stomach because of all the acidity, the, uh, the hydrochloric acid that's created, uh, the enzymes. Uh, of course, as I said, the hydrochloric acid that's created by the liver to break your foods down. Uh, well, as we get older, boom, our... Uh, digestive process begins to falter, uh, just like many other things. Human growth hormone, um, estrogen for women, testosterone for men. So the breakdown continues and continues where these bacteria, which I'm going to go ahead and say that they're just, you know, because the food service is uh, an, another area of the attack, the multi-pronged attack on, on humanity which is there, by the way, um, is, you know, just like the MRSA is on the equipment and it goes into the hospital, and that's why the staph infections, the co-infections that uh, I believe Jimmy said in, in our last uh, talk uh, was responsible for more profit for the hospital. And how can we, how or how can they not, uh, justify, but they don't know because they're part of a compartmentalized system where they're like, mm, where in the hell are all these uh, uh, these uh, co-infections coming from? Duh, duh. Ancient Chinese secret it's called murder, slow murder for money. So, um, so he. The, the, the gentleman, the femur, bleeding ulcers, H. pylori, the guy needs to be treated for uh, the bacteria to kill the bacteria. And um, probably needs to eat right, which is, you know, the, the large portion of the populations are just not doing. Now, one thing that um, I'm going to, or that we're going to talk about, the three of us, um, mainly uh, Jordan and myself, uh, are uh, that he sent me a Zyto. He sent me a biometric hand uh, device that we worked on, I believe it was uh, Wednesday or Thursday night, and um, I connected it to my computer. I downloaded some software uh, via USB connection, and on his end, he has his program. He's got a um, clinic, virtual clinic, and so uh, once everything synced up, he started sending information through the Internet to my computer to the biometric uh, hand uh, sensor. 
and started telling me things, of at least four or five things that I knew that I know that I never shared with him. And not because I'm like, I'm going to keep this from him. No, it's just that it just never came up in conversation. Um, he told me C5, C7, T5, vertebrae, that there was a reading coming from that. Well, my C5 and my C7 constantly going out. I go to the chiropractor to get it uh, put back in place. Um, adrenals. I was told uh, two or three weeks ago by my chiropractor that my adrenals were working overtime. Well, Jordan told me, dude, your adrenals, off the charts. Charliac, your adrenals, they're off the charts. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? But overall, I think I got a good, um, I got a, I got a pretty good uh, uh, line uh, on, on my health, and it, and it seems pretty, pretty good. So, um, Jimmy, I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys in um, during the break. Okay, I, I have to pull you in, or I'll get I'll get disconnected from Skype. So, um, I'll pull you in uh, in about uh, two minutes or so, uh, minute and a half. Um, so again, this system of of uh, healthcare that these people want back from Obamacare, um, that people want back from Ob- from this uh, vicious Obamacare, which is going to take it into, as I said, another gear of devastation through bureaucracy and the failings of government, the post office, you name it, there's a laundry list. And... Um, you know, it's uh, people want their destructive health care back. They don't realize that it is a garbage system. And, of course, I can't hear my bumpers again. But I'm looking at the clock. All right, so on the other side, I'm going to be uh, going live with, uh, with Jordan and Jimmy, and we're going to be talking about energy medicine. Uh, uh, basic introduction to energy medicine and then uh, in addition to things that we need to talk about Zyto, Cole Reality News Radio Alright, welcome back to uh, Cole Reality Radio uh, we have uh, Jordan DeYoung, uh, Jimmy Hallman, the energy medicine guys, and uh, we are going to talk about uh, what else? Energy medicine and uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, they're al- allowed to talk about, whatever they feel comfortable talking about, uh, we will uh, we will discuss. And um, again, so welcome, Jordan. Thank you, Andrew, for having me on. Uh, it was an interesting little assessment. Yeah, it was, it was. It was a lot of fun. It was very interesting, and uh, you know, just uh, kind of sitting there. It probably took maybe. I think the whole thing, the, the testing, took like maybe what, like thirty minutes or forty-five minutes or something. Uh, it was at least an hour. Uh, uh-huh. You're, you know, you were showing really healthy, and that was, you know, one of the things is I like to get this distribution number that shows the like the rate and change of the frequency when it's passed into the body. Mm-hmm. And when it comes out, uh, and it's rate of change, you know, I like to get that over a hundred. Mm-hmm. I just having a difficult time with you because uh, you've been taking care of yourself or you've been seeing the kinesiologist or, you know, what I don't know. Uh, but those, you know, few things that I did mention, I mentioned them because, you know, their, uh, their distribution ratio, their, their number, their level of significance was, you know, quite high, but there's, Right. For, for Not the a lot of those. Yeah, shout out to healthy guy. Everybody. There you go. There you go. Feels like good. a 20 year old man. Yes. Strong <laughs> like bull. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so it was good. I mean, I, I've, uh, as I, I want to say that I started kind of doing this, um, you know, around eating better, doing uh, more organic uh, type uh, foods. About say ten, twelve years ago, you know, after my parents uh, 
simultaneously within a, within a week uh, decided to uh, you know leave this plane of existence. And um, so I kind of started doing it before because my sisters out in California uh, would always come home and they would be like um, uh, going to Whole Foods or they'd be going to, to a place uh, where they could get organic uh, produce or they could get like organic food. So I just kind of started doing that. And um, and then uh, after, I guess after my parents died, I just kind of stepped in and moved into a uh, a, a mindset of, and lucky luckily i've been fortunate uh with the type of work that i do that i receive a a decent salary to, to to for what i do and it allows me to be able to uh, uh get the type of uh, nutrition uh, that i need uh, because you know what most people don't have that there's a large yeah. portion of people and sometimes people that do have the money and the funds to be able to do this um, to be able to eat right, don't. Because oh, well. just don't know. So, um, I guess I'll ask you, have you, um, do you, what, what's your, what's your deal with, with, with your eating? I don't think we ever spoke about this. Do you, uh, try to eat organic or, uh, do you, um, you know, stop by the, uh, McSatan's every now and then? <laughs> no, I don't stop okay. by McSatan's or yeah. Subway or, you know, any of those places. All right. And I make probably about half of my meals. Okay. Uh, and I've been eating a lot of eggs lately and fish and uh, blueberries, almonds. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I try to eat good. I definitely eat expensively, um, yeah. which, is, which is higher quality food mm-hmm. generally. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but with that Zyto assessment, there the reason someone would do a process assessment like that is it's supposed to count as a medical history exam. So say you're, you're to your doctor's office for the first time in uh, five years. Well, they'll, they'll give you a questionnaire because you've never been seen before. And the doctor, you know, would like to pinpoint some things that uh, the start of their testing, the blood testing, right? Um, so this is doing the same thing, but it's not asking your body, uh, you know, verbal questions that you're, head gets in the way of answering um, so it's it's asking the you know the tissues of the body the questions with the frequencies is the, mm-hmm. is the questions and uh, your response to those frequencies in various categories uh, you know we went through microorganisms we went through metals organs spine and hormones um, there's more specific and defined hormone lists uh, and sets there's more specific uh, organ support stuff, uh, like the TCM points, which is just traditional Chinese medicine. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of thing. And then, you know, to, uh, those, those are the stressors. Those are things that are, you know, putting yourself. And then, uh, balancers is the other side where, you know, you get muscle tested for a product, uh, be it, um, supplement or a supplemental, uh, type frequency that's supposed to, you know, assist, aid, make your body stronger. Right. Um, you know, and we talked about uh, using the acupuncture points instead of, you know, the frequencies because you don't have anything for that as, you know, some kind of stimulation point. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you could just apply pressure or light or, you know, like the magnets that you have. Uh, right. For specific amounts of time. But they're... All that stuff can work out, and you don't need to go into the doctor's office for it. And when you do go in the doctor's office, it pinpoints testing. Right. So it's like, oh, I got, you know, this showed up, and if the doctor can line that up with symptoms that you have, then you saved yourself a lot of money and a lot of time. Right. Sounds like something that everybody would want to do. Uh, now, how would someone, like, obviously, because we made the connection, uh, you were... Uh, kind of an oracle listener, and um, so we saw you in there, and, um, you know, we know who the good chatters are, we know who the bad chatters are, and we know who the filth is, and there is filth out there. <laughs> Luckily, I banned it all from my chat room. Oh, uh, um, okay. But, um, and uh, you you were a, a good guy in there, and you started talking about uh, energy medicine and different things like that. And I'm like, wow, this this guy's you know is not just a regular chatter; 
he's uh he's involved he's he's in to uh this uh, health and wellness system so one thing led to another and um here we are so how would somebody are, are there zydo testing centers uh, around the uh you know ar- around the country I, I i know that i typed in zydo in one of these um um in, in a search things. engine and i saw a, a number of different chiropractors my chiropractor even had some documentation on it yeah and knew about it and of course they market pretty office. heavily right and you want to make sure that they have the top of the line in software because there's, uh, four or five levels of software. Um, and the top two, uh, are, uh, like the e-box system that's supposed to send some balancing frequencies in. But Jim, you know, what Jimmy has is so far beyond that. I was like, mm-hmm. you know, I don't need anything, you know, further to, to balance people's frequencies. Right. So he's got but, like the super mamma jamma. Yeah. When it comes to uh a biometric um uh Zydo. Well the the and the worst model too is uh you know, it may just contain thirty nature sunshine products, which gives the thing a horrible name and the person's basically uh muscle tested uh energetically for these um products and it you know might say, Oh, they need this nerve support, but, you know, I look at the reaction, I'm saying there's no reaction there, or like the most significant reactions may be uh, a four, which is, you know, 3% of what I'm looking for, you know, to be significant. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's why I like running through over a thousand different supplements, because there's a lot of fish oils out there. Right. Most of them, most of them are junk. And, uh, and yeah, and... um um, I, I, I didn't finish my story from, from my last segment. I bought one, um, fish oil and I tested it and tested badly for it. And so I was like, never going to buy that again. And then, um, and it was the store's fish oil. It was the store that I bought it from. It was their specific, and it was a big chain. But, uh, so I went and I got some, uh, uh Barleen's. Um, which is a, you know, flaxseed oil. They, they make a, a lot of it. They've yeah. got a lot of product out there. Right. And I got muscle tested for that fish oil and was good with that one. And even your, your report said that I'm good with flax, uh, flaxseed oil, a uh, number of different things that, uh, the good thing is, is a number of different things that I've, I already consume a lot of. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, like, you're not really guessing anymore with the foods when you have the Zyto. It's got that's a right. Functional, it's got a functional food library in it, mm-hmm. and it uh, it's got lists of things that you would never think were you know good for you, like uh, it a bunch of special for different alcohols or chocolate or. Tequila is good for me. I was told yeah. by uh, yeah. <laughs> by Jordy that tequila is one of my uh, you know alcohols that I can. Uh, that I can indulge in. So that was nice to hear because I've got some in the freezer. Ten seconds of bumper here. Uh, on the other side, we're going to continue uh, talking about uh, energy medicine, Zyto, with Jordan and Jimmy Cole Reality Radio, Oracle Broadcast.com. All right, welcome back to Cold Reality Radio here on the Oracle Broadcasting Network. Uh, my guests, once again, are uh, Jordan DeYoung and Jimmy Hallman. We're talking about energy medicine. We're talking about Zyto, biometrics. Um, and, um, again, uh, just to kind of refresh what we were talking about in the last segment, uh, Jordan sent me a uh, Zyto, a biometric USB uh, device. I connected it to my uh, laptop, and we did a... Um, what would you call it? Um, a oh, uh, a, a process assessment is uh, the nice word I like to use for it now. Okay, and uh, we got any number of things at the at the end of the uh, took about roughly about an hour, and um, and so uh, at the end I got a uh, Jordan sent me a report of uh, acupressure or acupuncture points that were very important that uh, if I addressed uh, in some way, there's different ways to address it, that, that it would Im- improve my overall well-being. 
and um, you know foods to um, foods that that uh, empower and um, and and make me healthier uh, that I can eat and foods to stay away from. Uh, there was also just different sayings, um, things, uh, positive affirmations. Yeah, those are the psych K belief balance statements. They're just supposed to make a lot more sense to your subconscious than most affirmations make. Okay. And what was that first one? Like as soon as you, as soon as you went into that one, uh, specific, uh, um, uh, the testing area and it said uh and you just kind of like said it out loud you were like uh, like I was uh on um I forget what it was I guess I should I should try to uh, I should have it pulled up on the computer so um it was something like on I don't know anyway I'll 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 uh, I'll pull it up in the email here should have okay. had it. I should have had it anyway I was thinking before but I got distracted but uh yeah, so uh, what is that again, the, uh, the the affirmations? Yeah, the belief balance statements, and that's the metagenics to where uh, you can change your DNA and reprogram your DNA with statements. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, uh, that's the same type of look, way of looking at DNA that uh, the way you live your life, you know, and the way you perceive your life, uh, there, there can be the DNA change to where you live, you know, maybe a decade long. Okay. Uh, so it's not the genes, in other words, dictating 100% how long you're going to live. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, I've heard this any number of times, the genes don't dictate what what path that you will take, but what path that you can take if the body gets into a diseased state. Yeah, once once you're in a disease, there's usually an emotional component to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, they the alternative guys have only said cancer was among the worst of these, right? Where there's only a but that's not what causes it, you know. That's mm-hmm. that's not all, but they said it's only a component. All right, all right. So the word that I was looking for before was uninterested. You were like uninterested. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, "Shall you don't care about what we're doing here?" And I'm like, "No, no, no." Because, and then I think it was as we were going into it, I was just like, "God, I hope I don't hear something, you know, like that. That's gonna, you know, hear something that's that's going to pull me in a direction wh- where I'm gonna like worry about something that some kind of reading that 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 I got. Uh, and there were only a few there, like the adrenals and the different, uh, a few other things. But overall, at the end, when you said things in general look very, very good, like your health is very good. So that kind of um, made me uh, feel, uh, you know, pretty good at, at that point about the whole process. Uh, I felt good about the whole thing because I was participating in something that was, you know, that, that to me, is I mean it's not like Jimmy said last time it's not magic it's it's just you know it's things that are out there um, that are you, you know there's there's just something really just to get a little you know spiritual here there's something very just awesome about ju- just why we're even here on top of everything else and and the frequencies and everything has a frequency and and all this other stuff so it's 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 quite amazing and just participating in something like that uh was uh was very exciting for me and uh, you know again i i I thank you but i I wanted to you know thank you again today uh for that and um and i want to be able to share it with other people as well so and that's what we're doing here oh Uh, we were talking about those levels of software that's how jimmy and i met too um So, like, I, I have uh, these lists that I can customize. I can uh, actually, I can put things in there. Like, if if I had Mike Anthony stuff, which I'd like to get at some point, mm-hmm. I can store them in the device, um, the electronic or resistant signature of that supplement, which then can be put through the body. Uh, and I gave him a call, and I said, can I do this with frequencies, too? As I had my Andamed at the time, and I put all the Andamed frequencies in there. And I was able to, you know, run on frequencies uh, through the Zyto, uh, through the on 
and then the frequencies that came uh, pre-programmed with the Zydo, and I'd all get like uh, the same number within uh, one or two or five hertz or something, very close. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, you know, oh, I've got Jimmy's device. This is just the pulsed LED at the time. I can use the pulse rates from the LED, put those in, same frequencies, and assess those versus, uh, you know, Zydos and on demand. They usually came out on top, um, and one of the reasons because frequencies can be more specific, mm-hmm. uh, and they were, they were higher or a little accurate. bit more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, you don't want to talk about any machine and compare it to Jimmy's in front of Jimmy. Uh, I, th- I think I think one of the one of the key points that you're probably look, missing here is not about our equipment at all, but about the. It's one of my been one of my observations from the various practitioners that are using the Zyto specifically is it gives the end user that it's for the end user as much as as well as the practitioner and that it provides an affirmation of not only what's wrong but what is right and what they've been doing right and the yes. things that they've been and that's incredibly important. It's a it's a feedback it's an excellent feedback mechanism mm-hmm. uh that's informative not only to the practitioner but to the but to the uh end user as well, the patient. Uh, from a diagnostic standpoint, it's just for the doctor. Or, uh, the, it's the doctor's assessment or the practitioner's assessment. The end user doesn't necessarily know that. But it's a, a critically important tool to the to, to a person's well-being. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, that's something that's I think a lot of the users, the, the the owners of the and users of the Zyto, they don't really realize it or use it that way. Mm-hmm. Jordan right. Jordan does, however. Right. Yeah, it felt good to at the, at the end, you know, uh, to to hear that that I had been taking, uh, you know, a, a good portion of things that that he suggested that were good for me. I had already been taking, um, you know, like uh, flaxseed oil. A tequila, <laughs> and uh, you know, because you know, with the wheat thing, you know, d- dealing with like wheat sensitivities and things like that, you know, I have to, you know, go out there and uh, every now and then I'll drink, uh, you know, Budweiser or something like that, which is told to me that it's created more with rice. But then I, I think, you know, anything out there in this, uh, you know, the satanic system. That if they're going to sit there and they're going to call something the king of beers and they're going to push it, you probably don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> so, um, uh, so I would get like uh, gluten free beers and things like that. So what, I guess what what I should probably try to do next is, and I got uh, a few of them in there. I will probably just take some uh, beer bottles over to the uh, uh, over to uh, Mark and say, hey, listen, can you muscle test me for this? So at least I know, like, if I'm drinking this beer, that it agrees with me or it doesn't. You know, which would probably like. Uh, you know, kind of narrow me down to just one beer that I can drink, <laughs> right? So, uh, but, you know, that's that's what you got to deal with, uh, I guess, uh, in that particular area. So, I look for the perfect clint. Uh, I think we, oh, I think we might have, uh, no, we got, uh, all right, we got uh, about 25 seconds to bumper here. So, I look for some of these uh, different products here. I look for the Now DMG. They didn't have that. I got the Natural Calm. I figured that would be good for the adrenals. Get some ma- more magnesium in there. You told me there's uh, more magnesium uh, that I could take and more calcium. So uh, on the other side, uh, we're going to have a short. Go here with my guest, uh, Jordan DeYoung, Jimmy Holman. Uh, now, uh, either one of you guys are both. Uh, let's just. In this short segment here, let's uh, just, we got about four and a half minutes here. Let's do, if we can do a brief, uh, you know, what energy medicine is and what what is hoped uh, to be accomplished by it and how it can help people. And I mean, we can go into the next segment too, but uh, just to get people uh, back on, you know, where what it is and, and what, what uh, use it has. Okay. Um, 
the type of energy medicine that we're talking about is you know we're relating uh, an emission frequency that's been captured by uh, sensing equipment that's sent through the body to represent that substance. Uh, and then the body will change if it is affected by that substance negatively or positively. Uh, and then we could take and balance those things that are negative to the body uh, with either frequencies or supplements, which work uh, a lot on frequencies and their vibration as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're, you're sending a correcting signal uh, into the body. Uh, and it sets, it sets up a sympathetic resonance that, that stays. Um, I think the key is it becomes additive to what is there or should be there, and your body responds to it as if it were there, even if it's not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, that, that, and, the, and then it, that allows your body the power to go ahead and... So it energizes it, it energizes something that's already there, but has been compromised. It's it, it's a wave interaction, but when it's in when the wave interaction is in sync, uh, it becomes additive. Like two plus two equals four. Uh, uh, it actually trans transfers from the emitter to what's already there. It becomes additive, and uh, basically, if you are, if you have a if you have a cell that is two volts. And it's running at a frequency of uh, 1,000 hertz. And you have an emitter, uh, whatever type of device, whether it be plasma, that is operating at 1,000 hertz precisely. Uh, the wave interaction becomes additive. It actually starts absorbing uh, that, just like a radio station works. Your, your radio, you tune it to 1,000 or uh, 1 million hertz. Uh, if it's set there to receive at 1 million hertz and there's a radio station, you're absorbing that energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's, it, there's very, it works very much the same way, although it's not necessarily in the totally, it's not completely within the electromagnetic spectrum as most folks know it. Uh, there's other things involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... Uh, the basics of it is uh, when you talk about sympathetic resonance, it, uh, that, that's actually a key word, which means they're the same, and it can take on, uh, it can sympathetically take on the new energy and add it to the which it's supposed to be using for its processes, the metabolic processes, which start working much better. Okay. It's a good point that it's not the normal electromedicine, uh, electromagnetics that are promoted on Dr. Oz and Dr. Phil and uh, all these people, um, which is like a magnet being shut on and off. Right. Right. It's, uh, that can affect other things that you don't attend to uh, affect when uh, you're doing those types of therapies, like a coil type types of therapies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so on the other side of of the break, um, let's uh, talk a little bit about the the, uh, the MRSA and some okay. of the developments, and then I also want to get into the death instruction because that just I keep on thinking that <laughs> I keep on thinking yeah, that's, about that's death actually, instruction. So we got five actually. seconds. So we got five seconds to bumper. We'll right. we'll reconvene on the other side. Call Reality Radio, OracleBroadcasting.com. dot com. All right, welcome back to Reality Radio here on the Oracle Broadcasting Network. And um, I guess uh, what I'm going to do here is in this last hour, if we could probably possibly take a couple calls. There's nobody in the queue, but I'm going to throw the uh, the, uh, f- f- the numbers out there, 866-841-1065. Again, that's uh, 866-841-1065. Skype ID is get on air. So just if you're on Skype or you're on the, the Internet and you have Skype and you can just Type in the uh, directory, get on air, one word, and then you can call in uh, through Skype, uh, the amazing quality that now Microsoft totally dominates and controls. (laughs) 
So, um, okay, so we were talking, during the break, we were talking about uh, v- versions of, of software that run the uh, the biometric, uh, the Zyto, and, and, and some of these other higher-level uh, biometric um, uh, processing uh, devices. Uh, and uh, and the thing that, that I kind of, as I was listening uh, to uh, Jimmy and Jordan, is that some software is more comprehensive than others. And obviously, when you're trying to assess your health and you're paying to assess your health, you want a comprehensive report or, or as comprehensive as you can at the end to be able to say, okay, um, you know, l- l- like uh, Jordan's report to me about the, the acupuncture points and the foods that are good and bad, the, um, you know, the phrases, uh, the terminology that you can, you know, just kind of like sit there and be like, uh, say things like, I'm a total badass in every moment of the day <laughs> or something. <laughs> you know, I am... Uh, yeah. I like uh, what is that Austria? <laughs> I, I'll, we'll talk about that later. I love that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger stuff. I hate Arnold, but I love uh, the the, it, the the stuff that they were doing in that. But uh, the comprehensive stuff that's going to get people back in line with um, their health, so that they know what they've been eating that's good for them, or what they've been eating that's been bad for them. Supplements, right. things like that. Uh, Jordan said, "Hey." Um, uh, you can have, you know, you should take more calcium, you should take more magnesium, uh, any number of different things in there. I looked for that, that cleanse from uh, Garden of Life, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't see that one out there. Um, there was actually another one, but it was more comprehensive. I think the, the one that you were talking about is probably like maybe like a seven or eight day kind of like mini cleanse or something like that. But in general, I found that Garden of Life stuff is pretty good, even though I tested negatively for the uh, raw meal, the r- regular uh, flavored raw meal, I have not gotten the chocolate or the vanilla test, and I'm going to do that too because I love it and it tastes yeah. great. But if it's going to, if it's if it's something that's not going to agree with my body, I have to ca- I have to remove it from the equation. Well, the reason that uh, I got noticed by Jimmy is I, got, I put out that video because I can put the frequencies from that are his proprietary frequencies into the Zydo mm-hmm. that are only in my Zydo. And, uh, and then I could, you know, go three Hertz or point zero five Hertz away from those frequencies. Cause things change and mutate. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like if, if someone comes in and, you know, I run a process assessment for, uh, Borrelia, um, and there's 22 Borrelias in there, which is uh, the, the same Lyme uh, genus and family. Okay. Um, they might that to interrupt. Yeah, they might respond to Borrelia caucasia or something that's right. not Borrelia brugdefieri. So right away, when I when I test for the balancers for those, um, I'm going to test for these micro step Lyme frequencies that are slight deviations of the normal frequency set. Right. Because the the germ's slightly different from the known uh, germ frequencies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so this just to kind of re uh, to go back and bring something from the last program. I asked uh, Jimmy and Jordan, yep. uh, specifically Jimmy, if um, if Lyme was was created, and Jimmy, you said. Definitely. That it was in my, created. in my opinion, definitely. And it's a some form of weaponized smart bug that has the ability to um, mutate and change and do different things, much like much like HIV. Well, I'm not that familiar with HIV right. because I I honestly don't know what HIV really is. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to that many of today's science. The media will tell you what it is, and they'll tell you that you know uh, all these other different things. But, but you know, they just know that it, they just know that it's been present. Mm-hmm. They right. have, as far as I know, they haven't really equated the cause and effect uh, to that. They just know that it's always present. Right. And mm-hmm. again, it could be a. I have reason to believe that one could be uh, created as well, mm-hmm. but. Uh, that's kind of out of my realm. That's not something I focus on, right. although it's something I have focused on in the past for several people, and yeah. 
Well, the uh, thing that I'm trying to, to, to focus on or, or just kind of point out is that to you in all, in, in your, in your, uh, years of dealing with this and, you know, Jordan as well, um, it, it's looking like it was a manufact. It's not something that just evolved. Correct. Okay. A lot of people think, well, this it, it's, is uh, it's made, it was something that was created that was actually, in my opinion, manufactured to evolve and adapt very quickly. And that's something that it seems to be able to do quite well. Uh, and I believe it's because we see it occurring uh, in the microscopic work, uh, literally moving into different forms while it's on the micro oh, while it's on the microscope. Wow! Uh, so you've actually some, looked at it through a microscope, and yeah, you can we're, see. We're in the process of getting some of the. Uh, I'm wanting to do. We're getting set up to do uh, videos mm-hmm. uh, to not only watch it do that. For us to be able to uh, kill it in each of the various forms, or to prevent it from moving from one form to another, which it's doing as a protective uh, measure. Wow! And we've seen the same thing with E. coli. Well, uh, I've seen E. coli as something that typically looks like a piece of rice uh, to a layman, and to watch it immediately transform within seconds into something that is round uh, is that looks like a completely different organism which is going to have a different frequency uh, however with our ability to manipulate we can go from one frequency to another and back to the first frequency and back to the, the, the next one very very quickly uh, via computer control to be able to take care of these mutations, to address the situation of this uh, polymorphism. Wow. I mean, we, we, we see uh, butterf- caterpillars transforming into butterflies, uh, and we accept that, but the scientific community in the, here in the West doesn't accept that when it comes to... Uh, Various pathogens and things. Well, yeah, because it is, it's a cover up. It is. It's a constant yeah. process of covering up for the lie, covering up for the lie. Uh, I was working with a microbiologist in Romania. And hey, Jimmy, hold that thought. We've got 10 seconds to bumper. And sure. resume on the other side with, uh, with, with Jordan DeYoung, Jimmy Holman, Energy Medicine, Cold Reality Radio, OracleBroadcast.com. All right, uh, welcome back to uh, Cold Reality Radio here on the Oracle Broadcasting Network uh, with my guest, uh, Jimmy Holman, Jordan DeYoung, uh, and with reference back to my bumper, uh, hopefully with this, uh, these emerging sciences and uh, energy medicine that the party is over for these scumbags in the mainstream medicine, the AMA, uh, the ADA, uh, sticking mercury in your teeth and, and you know, uh, making up stories. And, I mean, it's just amazing how this stuff gets so suppressed. Uh, information about HIV, information about um, uh, Lyme disease. You know, they've got it, um, they probably got it, like, locked into, like, maybe, you know, like, I don't know, I'm just going to throw a number out there, like, uh, 5,000 Americans uh, are dealing with Lyme disease, so they just kind of like... You Lyme know, is going to be the new AIDS. Yeah, it's, like, that. It's, it's something that's going to be uh, su- suppressed to a point. And then, I mean, just the other day, I'm, I'm sitting, uh, I'm sitting, having a beer over at this pub, and I'm looking up, and there's uh, one of the nightly news uh, things there, and um, I forget what her name is, just another talking head that takes home, like, six figures... Um, and she's, and they're talking about this, like, super bug, you know, it's just like, and it's all just kind of going in line with, uh, the, you know, just, uh, wars and, and, uh, and, and just the economy going to shit and, and just all this other stuff. Um, it just kind of, everything's just kind of moving in a, in a specific area there where like, oh, now we're dealing with this, now we're dealing with this. Oh, where did this new stomach bug come from that's like, 
and where did this new, you know, flu bug come from? And then, you know, they can tell the masses anything they want, and then everybody's going to start believing that they got to go out there and that they got to get a flu shot and all this, all this stuff, you know. And uh, it's just, it's, it's kind of frightening, but at the same time, once you, you know, their, um, uh, their MO and how all this stuff works, it's less, it's like, it's not as bad as they're saying, but my fear is that one day it's going to be. Well, the thing is, a lot of the people that I've seen, especially over the last year that have, that tell me that they have the flu, you know, and if you went into a doctor, that's that's all they have to go on, you know. Maybe same symptoms, small lymph glands, all this. Put them on the Zyto, and the Zyto reacts to Lyme frequencies. I then run Lyme frequencies, which they expose themselves to, and they get better from their flu and are none the wiser. Because I won't, I can't say, you know, you know what came up. Uh, it's just, it's not a good idea if they don't already know. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's and there's two schools of thought uh, from these different movies that are out on Lyme disease. One is promoted and is on Netflix, and that is uh, Under Our Skin. Right, I've heard that. That promotes the idea that Lyme is something that is from nature because we pushed against nature, and nature is now pushing back against us, mm-hmm. uh, and that it's 100% cured by antibiotics and long-term antibiotics. Um, and then there's another movie uh, where it details the death of this guy's sister, the unwillingness of all uh, all the EPA to investigate um, water uh, toxicity or any toxicity that would normally be the the cause of these this uh, disease like this. I think she ended up can she got ALS as well, and this is under the eight ball. Uh, Right. And then the second part of the whole movie is detailing biological warfare. And it may have been created in Russia, and it may have been uh, something that was worked on in a bunch of different places. Uh, Like Willie Borgdorfer saw these kids getting sick in the 70s, and he says, I'm going to look inside a tick and find the bug. How do you, you know... Andrew, like, how did he know to look inside that, that bug? You know, right? It's fishy. it was just like, all right, now we're 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 moving this thing forward. Now let's you know, let just like the what they talked about the Reese's monkey that was responsible for the AIDS virus, like blaming it on an animal or something like that. Well, yeah, it, have, have it, they know to go look there? Yeah, he's like, you where did I put that? Where did I put that bacteria? Oh, there it is. <laughs> he he was working in uh, Montana mm-hmm. doing biological research, and when he's been interviewed for these movies like Under the Eight Ball, and I think there's been some subsequent ones, uh, he's surrounded by goons. Mm-hmm. And then just his name is Willie. It's not William. Uh, it's It's strange. So that's all I have to say about Lyme. Right, so the two movies, the one Under the Skin, which is a total disinformation. It points out some things that are real, but mostly like 95% garbage after that. Right, everything beyond basically it sucks if you have it, and it's very serious, and it's very real. Almost everything else is garbage. And so, and then the second documentary was, the name of that was what? Under the eight ball. Under the eight ball. Okay. Which I guess was a, a project where they dumped aerosols on children, right? As a government experiment, um, and saw how they reacted to them if they could transfer viruses to the kids through aerosols that they, um, you know, disseminated from above. I think this is in a large, tall tent. Mm-hmm. So. Wow. Okay, so this uh, this bioenergetics research and development advances is that? Uh, did you want to go over something with that, Jimmy, or is that oh, just? Yeah, that, that's the article that came out a few weeks ago. Okay, uh, it's a great article and a good overview. Uh, if there was actually two different versions of it that came out, one in which we attached uh, a lot of the supporting documents 
and, and an old article that was done about five years ago about us as well, which was referenced. Uh, but the, that's a great overview for anybody that wants to find out more about us and what we're actually doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and it's got lots of pictures in it. That's what's really kind of nice so they can visualize a lot of what's going on. Mm-hmm. But one of the key points in that and one of the references also was, uh, 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 a, a presentation that the Director Gen- General of the World Health Organization recently presented in uh, Denmark, I believe, Copenhagen, Denmark, mm-hmm. uh, talking about the, again, the MRSAs, not MRSA specifically, but the antibiotic resistance and the lack of uh, new antibiotics coming down the line. Mm-hmm. Uh, the current antibiotics are no longer working. The bugs have mutated uh, to the point that, and they're mutating so fast that there are no new antibiotics coming down the pipeline. Um, okay. I think she, and we're entering a post-antibiotic era where people are going to, they're not going to be able to have certain surgeries mm-hmm. because they will die from the, uh, in fact, the, uh, co- sub-infections mm-hmm. or the, um, that we will start dying. Oh, yeah. Scrape knees and cuts. Mm-hmm. You were talking about Dr. Margaret Chan, right? Yes. Yeah, the woman that, uh, that, uh, that labeled the, uh, the H1N1 a, uh, what is it, a level six, level seven, the highest, uh, pandemic known, yeah. uh, to, uh, m- uh, medical, uh, the medical system. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's unreal. Yeah, she doesn't have people that are controlling her. I mean, when you look yeah. at the the UN, we got 20 seconds to bump here. We got the the UN, and um, and then of course that was created by the same scum that we're dealing with, and uh, and then of course they create the World Health Organization so that they can proliferate disease out there. Um, more on energy medicine. We got a caller in the queue. Cole Reality Radio, OracleBroadcasting.com. Welcome back to Cold Reality Radio. Yay, I can hear my bumper. I heard Payday Monsanto's uh, Death Slave. Of course, I did a little bit of guitar work on that. Um, trying to get Payday on. He's in a, a kind of a transitional thing, and I'm going to have him on as a guest, uh, some, hopefully sometime within the next uh, four weeks. Uh, his uh, release, uh, Missiles with Relish. <laughs> Is uh, just phenomenal. Uh, I just over like the last uh, few uh, few weeks, month or so since I've I've gotten. Um, I think I actually got it on New Year's Eve when uh, we were doing some radio broadcast with him, and uh, so he pointed to a place out there where I could download the information, and uh, and I've been listening to it, and it's just like one one absolute uh, hit after the next, uh, spot on, uh, just a great. Uh, a really, really great artist that I hope uh, one day uh, gets uh, the recognition that he deserves. Okay, so uh, energy medicine. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a call. Let's go right to uh, Richard, who's traveling. And uh, hey, Richard, thanks for calling in. We spoke during the break. Um, uh, you want to uh, g- go through just what you had uh, asked before? Yeah, am I on? Yeah, you're on now. Yep. Yeah, uh, this started with Anton Bolshamp, who, uh, uh, was the counterpoint to a pasteur, who said, uh, everything is pleomorphic. It all depends on terrain. Uh, it was any, uh, kind of explored by Roll Rice and Gunther Enderlin and Albert, uh, Calmet. And, and basically what they said is the organism changes in relation to what's happening in the environment. Energetic ma- medicine is a great thing, but as I see it, it's kind of a diagnostic tool and a, a short-term treatment. Uh, the only long-term presentation that actually affects the body is dietary influence, and you can use uh, energetic medicine to like test foods to make sure they're actually enhancing uh, the the body. And so I, I definitely look at that uh, positive. Uh, but what my my real question is: 
uh, essentially radiology uh, when it first came out was supposed to be the, the latest and the greatest. And then after a while, when it killed Madame Curie, we found out there was some downside. So what do you see as the downside of, of uh, energetic medicine to balance the upside? Well, so the answer, uh, go ahead, Jordy. I was going to say, I, I talked about normal electromagnetic fields and the photons or gravity waves that uh, is being used by Jimmy's device. Um, and it's quite, it's a, it's very apparent. I've tested some equipment that are, uh, that put out a high magnetic field and I did not feel great afterwards. And it's not cause, you know, one germ in my body died and broke open giving a Herxheimer effect. It was an assault on my autonomic nervous system. So that is a downside, but it doesn't happen with the type of equipment we're talking about. Uh, and it also doesn't use, you know, radio frequencies. Uh, we're quite low, usually in ultrasound, um, but under the, the radio frequencies. Um, I think that – is there anything else? Did I miss something? Well, no, no, that that's it. Uh, the body is a self-contained unit that runs on electromagnetic energy, uh, the circulation of the blood with the – uh, the iron, uh, the hemoglobin, uh, that creates energetic flows. And now, uh, you can test that. You can use that as a diagnostic test, uh, you know, seeing how the energetic flow of the body's going. That's uh, acupuncture or, or uh, uh, homeopathic medicines. But I found those are short-term presentations that really what you have to do is determine what's the best influence by way of diet on the body so that you can enhance, as you pointed out, uh, there's a, a, uh, uh, separation of the autonomic nervous system between uh, sympathetic to parasympathetic. You can break down in the sympathetic, but you can regenerate in the parasympathetic. Most of us are constantly in the sympathetic today. We're running on carbohydrates versus using fats and, and proteins in the parasympathetic for digestion and enhancement. Uh, do you see this as kind of a short-term as, uh, assistant to that perspective of the body's uh, function, or do you see something else happening? I see something else happening. Diet's very important, uh, as you pointed out, but what you're talking about, all the homeopathic and this real light energy medicine, the muscle testing, that's all Zyto. Um, the type of stuff that Jimmy has definitely has a big influence on the body with or without the right diet uh, and can always um, point someone's body in a, a better direction and have someone more able to detox and, uh, like, for example, uh, be able to demonstrate healthier kidneys and liver function via blood work uh, after a few sessions. Uh, you know, water is very important, but and what you put in your mouth is important. And I'm not downplaying that, but I'm saying this energy medicine stuff can change the terrain. Well, yeah, but well, what you're saying is this can take a, a broken person, uh, a non-peak performance person, and make them toward peak performance. But can yeah. you use this energetic medicine to make a peak performance person uh, and maintain over time? Yeah. Well, if they if they are maintaining their program over time. So that's it. Is that primarily what the device is about, is maintaining a good nutritional program so that you can remain uh, as a peak performance individual? Yeah, I wish it was that simple with a lot of people, but... The people that end up looking up energy medicine usually have chronic illnesses that have been uh, upsetting them for a long time with underlying uh, heavy metal and chemical factors uh, that, that led to the problem in the train, followed by microorganisms. Uh, usually there, there's the emotional aspect of it, and that's why the Zyto test assessment uh, takes so long. Uh, exactly, and that's looking- why yeah, I see that's the benefit of energetic medicine. It can get a person back to uh, a baseline, uh, to the best situation they can be. Uh, but, but that's my question. Can you use energetic input to replace diet? Or are you agreeing that diet is the primary importance and the energetic uh, medicine is just an I won't say to it. maintain? With the people that I see, it's not the primary thing because they're already doing it a lot of times, and it's not going all the way. It, it might not even be doing, you know, 40% difference for them uh, because of the hold that the microbe is taking on their body. 
Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, you got, you've answered my question and I'll let, uh, you carry on. Uh, thanks for the input. All right, okay. thanks, Richard. Thanks, Richard. Richard had a great question, and one of the things that he mentioned was uh, that he referred to was basically, is it a temporary, uh, the way I interpreted his question, was it a temporary fix or a permanent fix? And basically, getting something back to the norm, he also talked about uh, the adverse effects, uh, say with Madame Curie, for instance. It was a great idea at one time that uh, over time was not great. And the, the fact is, is we're able to manipulate. You may not be able to manipulate radium very much at all. But the ability for us to address new things over and over again, because so much of it is in software and we're manipulating frequency as, as the organisms change and they do morph over time, and sometimes very quickly, we're able to address those changes very quickly and monitor and address. Uh, and the Zyto is a great, uh, not a diagnostic tool, but an assessment tool where you can see, does this frequency work today? Does it work the, uh, one week from now? Does that same frequency work? Or does the frequency one hertz off work better? And that's something that can be changed in real time. We don't have, we're not a pharmaceutical company where you have to go back and develop a whole new pharmaceutical that works one hertz off from the original one. Well, and I mean, go well, through the process of the new patent and all of that. When you go to a doctor so, and you're trying to get a, a, an assessment of, of, on a scale from one to ten, you're probably like maybe a one or a two. I uh, think with this um, technology, you're closer. Yeah, he's typically looking at the symptom and guessing and using the best tool he has, which may be a particular antibiotic for that particular type of symptom. Uh, it may be, it will be the best they have and they, and it may be able to get 80% of it. But there's still 20% that is probably morphed, uh, the, the, or that it's a mutation. It hasn't necessarily morphed, but maybe a mutation that that antibiotic would never get. Mm -hmm. And would the it change frequency when it when it morphs? It, yes, it, yes. The more is it a slight frequency or a, a, a um, it's, change? It's or? going to be slight. It's going to be slight, but it may it may be out of the range. That's why they talk about broad uh, broad spectrum antibiotics as a wider spectrum. When we did our MRSA experiments. The first experiments we used, we used a single number, and we were able to kill one of three different uh, strains. And when it came to the second round that we did, I added one third. Okay, so we got about 10 seconds of bumper. Uh, Jimmy, that's all thought. We got 10 seconds of bumper, and we'll, we'll reconvene on the other side called Reality Radio. All right, welcome uh, back to uh, Cold Reality Radio here on the Oracle Broadcasting Network. Um, we are in the last segment with uh, with Jimmy uh, Holman and uh, Jordan DeYoung. And um, I guess uh, my question would be, um, a question that I have here is that uh, if somebody wants to, is listening and they want to, uh, you know, get assessed to, 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 you know, do a Zyto or something like that, and they search and they find somebody in their area, a chiropractor, some a form of alternative uh, health uh, uh, personnel. Uh, what do they ask for? Is like when they go in there and say, what what type of software or what version of software uh, do you have? Like, what, what should they ask for, and what what would be acceptable for the comprehensive type of of results that are needed for to to get that a lock in on, you know, where your health is, what to eat, what not to eat, acupuncture points and all these other all the other stuff that we went through, Jordan. Okay, here's where I'm gonna step on toes. Uh I don't sell it, you know, a supplement, so I don't have a bias towards supplement companies. And that sets me apart. 
I would say anyone else you go to anywhere in the country is going to have a Zyto session to sell you, and then they're also going to have God knows how many uh, products to sell you. Right. Uh, so, and they'll usually go through a list, say, and Metagenics list is 220-some products. If they're pushing Metagenics, they might only have 30 of those products, but I'll test for all 225. Okay. Uh, and then forget about testing orthomolecular molecules or standard process or any of these other companies. They're not worried about because they don't, they're not selling their products. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, my chiropractor... Um, deals directly with standard process and um, I, on some level, and I might be wrong, I, I just, I feel very, uh, very strongly about their line of, 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 you know, I read things up on, on them and it just seems like they're very comprehensive and they, the process of how they create their nutrients and things uh, seems uh, pretty fantastic. Yeah, they're, they're a good supplement company, but there's a lot of good supplement companies. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, something sitting on my shelf is going to dictate, uh, which ones I do or do not look at as opposed to looking at the uh, wide range, the wide almost, range. Almost, right. yeah, almost literally all of them. And I named, you know, doctor and chiropractor only companies, but like the list that I uh, ran you through are all like you can find everything on Google. Mm hmm. Um, they're, they're now supplements, uh, Nature's Way, Nature's Purist, stuff that people have brought in for me to put into the machine, Twin Lab, uh, Soul Array, uh, just almost name it, and uh, I usually have it right in there. Okay. Nice. I look for the uh, the now, the, the DMG, they, they didn't have it over at Whole Foods. Yeah, so you're just okay. gonna want want to ask them, you know, are you selling supplements, maybe, or because yeah. then they're gonna be they're gonna be biased, and you're not gonna get the same scan or assessment that that you get through me. Um, and then it just depends on if you're if you're seeking to find out new frequencies to run, mm -hmm. um, and how specific do you want those frequencies? Uh, right. Jimmy said a one hertz, you know, a variable helped kill the other MRSAs, but he's not at, you know, 800 hertz like a lot of these other people are working on microbes at. He's... Mm -hmm. I'm at 80,000. Yeah. <laughs> 80, or, more, or more. Yeah. So that would be like a tenth of a hertz or less. Right. Uh, accuracy in the in the lower range, you know, in 800, but... And it generally wouldn't work, too, right, Jimmy? Yeah, we found it very, very specific. Mm -hmm. The accuracy is absolutely critical. So are oh, characteristics sure. of the waveform. So um, I, I noticed uh, reading some of the documentation on the Zyto that it is in an FDA. It is an FDA approved device. Yeah, that's correct. So my next question is, what in the hell are they up to? <laughs> when they're approving stuff, because whenever I see FDA approved, I run the other way. Well, they weren't approved for maybe 10 years or something. Uh, and it's not approved as a testing device. It's, it's approved as some galvanic skin responsing class two. You're not going to get much money reimbursement from uh, mm -hmm. your insurance provider, if any at all. Okay. Um so it's not like a prostate exam where your insurance is going to cover it outright or cover it automatically, and Medicaid sure not paying for it. Right. Um, I do know one guy that says Obamacare is good for this uh, alternative medicine and starting to look at things that you could uh, cut corners on. What right. I I could see the Zyto being one of these assessment uh, tools because if you have someone that could be a hypochondriac and there's a China study too. And there's definitely some Chinese type influence with, uh, you know, them holding our debt and just all, all this stuff. So there was the China study that was done where they placed all these, uh, hand cradles in these rural areas where the people would get sick and they'd move to get better health care, uh, in cities while they left their doctors underused and the, this, the big city doctors uh, overused. Um, so they instead would place uh, the hand cradle out there, 
Then they lined up um, physical findings with uh, organ findings on the Zyto and found some 87% coherence uh, mm-hmm. between the two. So that's if that person doesn't have to go into the doctor and they don't have to pay a doctor, they can just do this energetic scan. That's a big money saver if cut corners are ever cut in the medical industry. Right. But okay. it's a third of our economy or something, and there's a business of making people sick. So it's just like, which one's going to weigh out? Right. Yeah, I, I think the Obamacare is going to – we've already started seeing it do it a lot, uh, as with some of the practitioners, that people are having – so many people have lost their jobs, lost their insurance, can't get new insurance. They're having to take the matters of their health into their own hands out of necessity for the first time in their life. They've always dumped their problem on their their doctor, their MD. And now they're they're having out of necessity to, because it's coming out of their pocket, having to uh try the alternatives. And they're finding that they're that they're doing a lot better with a lot less money than the the than with their allopathic doctor. Now, I'm not trying to dissuade a person from an allopathic doctor, but the fact of the matter is most of them are are struggling uh, under their their new burdens, and so many of them are getting out. I think within a year or two, you're going to see people having to just say, the hell with the other system, mm-hmm. and look with, at the alternatives. They're going to have to, out of necessity, right. take matters into their own hands. It's like that, you know, an awa- awakening to a certain extent because you can't keep this stuff covered up for a long time. Yeah. Just like you can't and, keep, uh, you know, everything that they've tried to, they they're, they're, they can't keep it under wraps anymore. The internet kind of salts yeah. that, and now people are, like you say, are going to be starting starting to move in another direction. So that's why they had to. I believe they had to get the. Yeah. Uh, Obamacare in there so that they could just even further draconi, uh, draconian eyes, if you if you will, uh, the system uh, to, to try to, to step on the throat of of the people. Well, uh, well chiropractic was demonized for so many years, mm-hmm. and that is an incredibly effective tool. It's not for everything, but mm-hmm. it is it works miracle, for lack of a better word, mm-hmm. miracles. Jordan, you had something there? Well, I get, then I got to Yeah, I just wanted to put an exact price on some of these diseases. Uh, Pennsylvania did a study with uh, allopathically treated chronic uh, infections of Lyme disease over six months, and they were something like $16,000 on average. Right, overwhelming the system with, with uh, the, the care for these things. That yeah, not people, even trying with to insurance. yeah. people with insurance had to pay $16,000 to, you know, basically feel a little bit better from their Lyme disease, which they probably mm-hmm. still had at the end of all and that, yeah, that didn't fix the problem. It just was the care over six months. All right. Hey, I want to thank you guys uh, for, for joining me again today, and we're going to do this again real soon. Uh, Jimmy Holman, uh, Jordan DeYoung, Energy Medicine, Zyto. If you have any more questions for me that I can connect you with these guys or get you uh, Zyto, Shaliak at ColdRealityNews.com. You can find that on OracleBroadcasting.com, my show Cold Reality uh, News and Report. Again, thanks for joining us. Uh, OracleBroadcasting.com, Cold Reality Radio, Shaliak, Jimmy Jordan. 